back to the chair acquisition. This is where we take a game, we break it down, we tell you if it launches, how it performs, how it looks, and how it controls, and we rate that on a scale from one to four, or we rate that on a pass fill. Uh, we tally that. How many on weeks do you what? been doing the new intro? I mean, it, 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 it's <laughs> really fun. It's, it's because, not. Like it's you, not. Inter- it's not internalized yet, and dude, I do it I, once no, a week. It makes me happy. You trip in the same spot every week. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I am a creature of habit. Anyways, uh, we, we then we rated ch- the game on one to four chairs for the fun. Uh, what, what are we reading this week? This is Damon 9. Uh, it's from Curio Productions. It's done entirely in Chrome and whatever browser your links open up in by default. What is it? Morgan Shane has disappeared, leaving a bloody trail of mayhem in our wake. But is she a monster or a victim of something far more sinister than the authorities are imaginating? Imaginating. There you go. That's, show title. <laughs> That's go. a new word. And the biggest question of them all. Can you unravel the mystery before the same dark force that targeted Morgan finds you? Can I, I really hope it's Star Wars. Wars. If I can use my dis wrangler, I can. I yeah. can wrangle all Listen, the things. I, 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 hope it, I hope it's Star Wars Dark Forces because that game is the it's shit. like Zombocom Anyways. with dis yeah. wrangler. Uh, the, the, the dev sent us some keys for this uh, via Curator Connect, so we got to give him a shout out for that. So let's break it down. Ven, how did it work on Ubuntu? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Chirquisition, may I present to you, how does it run on 1804 LTS with Ubuntu's Ryzen 1700 powered by 980, 16 gigajoules of RAM, and a little bit of patience. It launches on the wrong monitor, because that's what it does. Uh, it likes to, and only likes to, launch on the monitor to the right of my primary display, which, you know, you're thinking, that's not going to be too big of an issue. You can get over that. You can just drag it to your primary if you want. Yeah, but I'm like, hey, man, you're over there anyway. I'm just going to full screen you, and I'm going to play a little bit, and I'm playing. I'm like, ah, oh, man, is there some tips, hints, thoughts, allegations? Oh, the game is kind enough to provide this. Let me click up here and click to open the help page. Locks the fucking game. Hang steam. It is fucking impressive, the level of, like, what the fuck, really? Good, good job. Good job. So, no. No. Bad game. <laughs> you don't get a pass on that. Minus one chair on that. And it's got Two nasty habits of A, not recording your playtime, B, not dying. A game about killing and murderating likes to hang around as a zombie process. Figure that one out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, performance, it runs at 1080p. At UHD, I even tried it. I didn't have the same issue that uh, Jordan and Pedro ran into. But not that you could tell, because guess what? Overlay doesn't work. Mm. But you're playing a desktop and you're playing videos on a desktop, so Whatever. Uh, speaking of that graphics, have you ever seen the, uh, TV show desktop OS is what I call it. <laughs> the made up bullshit interface. That's basically what you're going to be dealing with. As far as the controls, you base it's click, 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 drag, click, 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 right. Click go. Why doesn't that fucking work? Click, 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 click. So <laughs> yeah, three cheers. Yeah. Um, on uh, fedora 28. 28- um, 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, which is woefully wasted on this. Could you, could you could have pulled it off, man? Did you, did you have to <laughs> overclock it a little bit? Not right. <laughs> I, I had to get that overclocking <laughs> utility running. Um, yeah, does, does it launch? Yeah, it's Chrome, so better. Um, doesn't, yeah, like as like was mentioned before, it leaves a bunch of zombie processes, not anything sinister like evil witch ring lady things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> That's a really crappy blur job. My God. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it leaves a bunch of it, the Chrome processes kind of just stick around until you kill nine of them. That's a little annoying, so I'm going to ding it a chair for that. Um, Performance-wise, yeah, it's a bunch of GIFs and videos in Chrome. So if you can run Chrome, it's going to run fine. I will say, though, trying to full screen this. YouTube uh, going to sue somebody for trademark infringement. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 will, I will say that... Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though that like blowing blowing this up to UHD does not do this game any favors. This is a this is a 1080p virtual desktop. It looks like a butt, uh, but not enough to get in a chair. Um, yeah, graphics. It is very much the napkin drawing up a desktop. Um, if, if if you if you if you're like me and you creep on what's on the computers and like procedural crime dramas, this is the same sort of shit you'll see. I will I will say this though, the file browser here reminds me of like really old Nautilus. Mm-hmm. And it trips mm-hmm. me up because I keep expecting keyboard shortcuts or like right clicking to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't. And it makes me angry. Uh, <laughs> um, control wise, it's all clickety clack, tappity tap. It's no big deal. So I'll give it I'll give it three out of four for working, I guess. 
Yeah. No, the, the game does have a nasty habit of leaving a demon uh, of oh, sorts oh, running oh. in the background. I, 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 will, I will say this. This part in the game looks really, really goofy in Window. Okay, I'm just saying yes. that this yes, is it having does. a wrong effect on, <laughs> on my junk right now. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, Pedro, I on. really don't care about uh, ARG elements. It, the moment you will start leaving zombie processes running on my system doing fuck knows what, you're going to lose a chair. And yeah, the performance, yeah, it performs. I don't know what you're expecting. It's just click around and watch videos. Um, the hey man, graphics. Some, some would say like zombie processes are the spoopiest part of this game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there are some pixely ass overlays that you get, uh, but yeah, no, the graphics work fine, except when you oh, well, at least on my system with Solus sixty four bit because that's the only version that they have uh, on the Ryzen uh, 5 uh, 1600 and the GTX ten eighty. When I try to full screen on the thirty eight forty by 2160 monitor it just renders like the top left quadrant of the game so i have to move the game to one of the 1080p monitors and then i can play in full screen i i don't know what the hell's up with that uh controls yeah no there's some mouse clicking and if you're really advanced some typing so it gets two out of four chairs mm. <laughs> all right well I, we find out that if your system can run Chrome, it can I gotta run be game. honest, I didn't have two chairs loaded up because I didn't think anything could eat that much dick. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well, uh, what, 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 what about fun? Do you have fun browsing Facebook and watching YouTube videos, Ben? Oh, man, you know it. Um, I, like, before we even get into that, one of the things that kills me with this game is part of playing it is going to an external website. And part of going uh, to an external website in your regular browser is forgetting that you have this fucking game running because it's really easy to get distracted. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> yep. Because it's very important. Because our magic number is seven. Seven is the number of external websites this glorified fucking art project requires to function as a game. With a game made using Chromium that requires mm -hmm. a persistent online internet connection. When, and there is always a when, these sites go dark in the future, oh. your game will be busted bad design choice there brad i'm just saying um however good choice shooting everything on a canon um uh, fixia looking at pick one of those up kind of notice that in the background kind of assuming there demon nine is not a movie it's not a game it's something that belongs in portfolio of a year two film student and kind of not the steam store if you you know you see kids the only way that you can pull off an FMV in 2018 is kind of to be over the top, over the top campy, over the top bad, kind of like us, horrible. Uh, mock what made that genre bad, not try to reproduce it. And, you know, honestly, during the first five minutes of this game, I wasn't sure if they were being campy or being serious. I, it's, mm, maybe, unfortunately, it quickly became obvious that Curio Productions kind of chose the latter on this. So I say once more, ladies and gentlemen of the chair acquisition, I tried. I really tried. But the only thing here is a, for me, collect the clues adventure game that occasionally fucks with your display, as you can see if you're watching the video version, and forces you to dig around in external websites. You really should mention that the game requires online connectivity and copy pasta your clues and get a solution and maybe a bite-sized Snickers. It's not a lazy game. It's not shovelware. It, somebody made it. They put some love into it. Attention was paid. They did what they could. But at the end of the day, for me, all I can take that shot. Hashtag Proton. Take another shot. It's simply not fun. Personally, I've seen Windows ME desktops more frightening <laughs> than Demon 9. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like, I, I, I disagree with Ben in the sense that this isn't a game. This is absolutely a game. But it's it's a different type of game, game, right? You said qualify as a game. Yeah, it's stretching it. Yeah. Anyways, no. The, the, it's the, a better love that... story than Gone Home. Yes, we, we, we've discussed this. <laughs> That's not a high uh, bar. <laughs> anywho, um, yeah, like the, the, this. This is like a really small sco so scope, self-contained ARG, which means that there's a lot of investigating and a lot of like working outside the game in order to solve puzzles. Um, there's a thing where you have to like call a number, you have to send someone an email, you have to find passwords and they give you tools. They give you like hacker utilities and a vinegar cipher uh, decryptor thingy to uh, assist you in your, uh, in your quest to find out who 
possessed and murdered whoever this is. This is um, a spooky ghost. It's so spooky. Say, yeah. Uh, the, the thing I wrote. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you get find Adam. I'm like, the I, I, I get all, all, I, I gotta, all of this stuff. All of this stuff would I, I feel works really would work really well on like a uh, on a um, on like a full screen desktop. But when you're running this in a window, it's just really goofy. It's it's. Like there's jump scares and shit, and I, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, here's here's the thing. Um, there's uh, th this sort of thing sort of requires you to like a care about ARGs, b be willing to actually dive in and solve the puzzles, and you know c continue playing this game. I feel <laughs> like when, whenever I'm confronted with one of these, I need to go like full Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I need to have all the shit posted on the walls with like the scrawling and like the strings connecting them drawing some random ass conclusions and i couldn't bring myself to do this with this game because there's there's so much information you gotta wade through and a lot of it is just like college girl dorm room drama that i i just can't be asked Becky. to care about uh, <laughs> yeah wa 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 watching some of these videos going over facebook posts like ah it's boring the mystery isn't doing it i'm not hooked i don't care this is the same sort of schlocky um, schlocky, oh, technology, horror, evil, demon, computer thing that's been done to death a million freaking times in a million movies and TV shows and games. Way better than this. I'll, I'll give it one share. Now, I got to throw in before you get in. The thing I wrote where it says Demon 9 is not a movie, dot, dot, it's not a game, dot, dot, directly off their Twitter page. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's on their Steam um store page yeah. as well but uh, well that, that, uh, sorry uh, j j just one more thing when when this, when ven you brought this up that this was like an fmv game i was expecting phantasmagoria i wanted something like that like you said I, can't be in over the top I, I wanted something that genuinely mocked that what made the like, I, I wanted night trap level shit you know yeah like like an homage like an, an affectionate oh, you, parody dude, i think you that... can get night trap on the switch now you, you absolutely can yeah they did a Sweet. remastered version all right I pedro yeah all right, so I don't like detective games on the best of days because it, it's just not my thing. I don't like ARGs on the best of things because they usually involve getting out of the house. And when I play video games, I play them for the experience that they provide. And while the atmosphere in Damon 9 is certainly very well done if you're playing it full screen, I had to force myself to go through the links the game opened on my actual Chrome browser. Uh and just try to figure out what the hell was going on. When uh, the, the best example or the best comparison that I can find for this game is her story. When that game came out, I was actually curious. Not, you know, curious enough to play it, but I watched a reasonable uh, playthrough on YouTube. And the difference between Damon 9 and her story, uh, it goes far beyond the poorly pixelated tit shots that are in this game. And there are a few. Uh, her story was a self-contained experience where everything you needed was in-game. Here, the moment the devs stop paying for those URLs, the game, or actually solving the game, becomes infeasible. Uh, if you're playing outside the US, spooky phone calls that you're supposed to get don't work unless you sign up for one of those online US phone number services. As much as I like, like the horror elements here, these games take a special kind of person to enjoy, and I'm just not that kind of guy. So, one chair. Ah, that's terrifying. It's Windows. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that was kind of spooky. It looked like Windows 10. Yeah.